Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here. Coming at you with that. 2022 Topps Tribute Baseball, six box, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick your team number four, also available, no filler at the moment, but could be in a filler really quickly. So grab your team straight up if you want to do it without a filler. Or if you're waiting for a filler, it should be available shortly. All right, there's the case right there. Big thanks to everybody here for making this happen on a Thursday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Thursday with me. So last spot mojo ended up going to John with the Texas Rangers. Now we pulled all those remaining, all those RNBs that stands for random number block. We took all those teams out and turned it into a serial number break. We did this in a different video if you're looking for that. There you go, you get a block of numbers and it applies to just those teams and just in pick a team. Three. So I'll set that right next to me over here. Yes. Put that there. All right, well, you can just watch on Instagram. We'll still be live on Saturday, Mike. All right. Good luck. Is anybody in this break watching live right now? This is a tribute three, pick your team three. I, lo I love those cards right there. It's a cool looking, cool looking card. A little bit of, little bit of see through action on that. Jonathan's here, great. Jonathan has the Red Sox. Anyone else in the break watching live? Pick a team three. And there's an extra base card here, which usually is the, is the rookie. Gotcha, Lonnie's still at work, so listening but not watching. All right, and there's Luis Gill, who I think is making a start for the Yankees tonight. Two out of 10. Nice low number on that one too. That'll be for Craig, picked up the Yankees straight up. Now these rookie cards are few and far between. I think there's only maybe a couple in, uh, in each case. Maybe two or, two or three. So hopefully he has, hopefully he has a good start tonight. All right, here are the rest of your base cards right there. Really sharp font, I like that. Nice, nice clean design from Tribute. All card ship, I'm a fan of it. Oh, and this one's numbered, that's JD Martinez to 99 for Jonathan and the Red Sox. All right, and now your hits. Got a dual relic Buster Posey. 22 out of 25 for my rivals, the Giants. And the Giants are a number block team. So here's how the number blocks work. So you just go by that digit right there, that two. So San Francisco two, that'll be for Lonnie. There you go, Lonnie. Got our autograph, Mark Burley. 49 out of 99. White Sox are also a number block team. That's Lonnie with the number nine. That digit right there. Behind Raphael Devers is Xander Bogarts. Nice stamp of approval relic, 85 out of 199. Now these stamp of approval cards are really cool because it has that MLB hologram sticker on it. So you can go to mlb.com slash authentication and punch in these numbers if you'd like. VT013 508. So that'll tell you what date that jersey came from. Then you could go to like baseballreference.com, look up his game log, look up that date, and see if he did anything that day. That goes to Jonathan and the Red Sox. 
There's Mariano Rivera and a JT Real Muto autograph, 31 out of 50. The Phillies are here in LA. And that's Philadelphia 1. And it'll also be for Lonnie. Last Bob Mojo. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. 1 out of 25. Big piece of his lumber right there. Nice pieces of his jersey. That'll be for the Blue Jays. Craig picked up the Bluebirds straight up. Nice triple relic. Game used. And behind Freddie Freeman is, what year is it? The Hawk, Andre Dawson, 45 out of 50. Remember that State Farm commercial where Kerry Wood pulled him out of the Ivy? Cubs are a number block team. So that goes to Cubs 5, right there, 45 out of 50. Cubs 5, Lonnie with the number 5. All right. Nice start, next box. Uh oh, is uh, Boggs calling out Lonnie? You're for sure at work, but I know you aren't actually working. Wow. Shots fired. Who wins an autograph duel between Andre Dawson and Marion Rivera? Yeah, who has the who has the better autograph, Andre Dawson or Marion Rivera? Who has the better penmanship? That's a close one. Should we put it to a poll, Mike Tower? We're going to end this basketball poll. The game's already started. 71% uh, saying Miami plus two is going to close out this series. Who has the best penmanship? Question mark. Andre Dawson or Mariano Rivera? Not who's your favorite player, not who's better. No, no. who just has the best penmanship? So let's post that poll. If you're watching live, you can vote. When that poll is posted, it'll be pinned to the top of your chat. That's a tough one. Ah, okay, Boggs, that's what I figured. You work with him. I, at, least he gets, at least he gets attendance, right? Attendance credit? All right, there is Manny Machado, stamp of approval, 41 out of 99. Piece of his jersey. Going to the Friars. Padres are a number block team, so that goes to 41 out of 99. So number one, that'll be for Lonnie. So once again, MLB.com slash authentication. You can look up VS828665. Numbers are kind of tiny. I think I got that right, though. Put that over here, that's part of the number block group. Behind Fran Mil Reyes is Jesse Winker. Reds edition, 14 out of 25 for Austin and the Red Legs. Then we've got David Wright, Pete Alonzo, 76 out of 199. Nice dual relic for the Mets. 76 out of 199. Mets random number block. John with six. And Derek Jeter, wow. Ooh, that's a case right there. That is nice. Shadow box. Your Willie Mays World Series MVP. 
Derek Jeter, 24 out of 50. Craig with the Yankees, picked up the Yankees straight up. Scared money don't make money. That's nice. And we've got DJ LeMayhu, current Yankee, 14 out of 199. Nice triple relic. Another one for Craig and the Bronx Bombers. And we got Jaron Duran Duran, 11 out of 199. Hungry like the wolf. That'll be Jonathan and the Bo Sox. All right, that was a nice box. Let's continue, continue on. So far, 64% of voters are saying that Mariano Rivera has the best penmanship between him and Andre Dawson. Paul Tate thinking that Ozzy Smith also has a nice auto. He does indeed. There's a redemption? What? Oh, no. There's no base card. That's the hit. And then we got the rookie card. In here, no, just the extra Mariano Rivera. All right, it's another hit right over there. All right, there we go. Good looking base cards here. Oh, and there's JT Real Muto, three out of 25. That'll go to Phillies three. That'll be for Kevin. All right, behind Freddie Freeman is Tory Hunter. Dual relic piece of his lumber and jersey. 77 out of 99. Detroit, Detroit seven is for Travis. No, there was no redemption. It's just a, uh, just just the hit. We were short at a base card. There's Eddie Murray, five out of five. Eddie Murray. Now that's a genuine ballpark relic. That's pretty awesome from Old Memorial Stadium. Lonnie picked up the Orioles straight up, and Lonnie, out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's nice. Next is Brandon Lau, five out of 99 for Eric and the Rays. And once again, that is VT044215. And we've got Patrick Corbin, 74 out of 99. That's for Richard and the Nationals. And behind Salvador Perez is Tory Hunter, 21 out of 99. That's Rolani in the number one with a triple relic this time. And Luke Williams, 122 out of 199. Use the false, Luke.
Um, Phillies two. Lonnie with Phillies number two. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. Good luck, everybody. Next box. card. The extra card should be the rookie card. There's Ronald Acuna Jr., 90 out of 99. Braves, Justin W. with the Bravos. Rex is saying that there's the rookie Vidal Brujan. Rex is saying that Field of Dreams won the MLB movie bracket contest. Who is running that bracket? There's Eric in the Rays with the Vidal Brujan rookie card. And then your hits. We got Garrett Cole, dual relic, 81 out of 99 for Craig and the Yankees. And we got uh, Jackson Reitz, 5 out of 99 for Richard and the Nationals. Behind Jose Abreu is another stamp of approval rally. That's Yoan Moncada, 71 out of 199. White Sox, White Sox number one, going to Lani. It's VT053440. And we got Max Muncy taking it to the max. 127 out of 150. And that Dodgers are a number block team, so that'll go to Dodgers 7. It's going to be for Travis. There you go, Travis. There's Jake Berger. Mmm, Burgers. 38 out of 199. I wonder if Jake Berger has a signature burger at the uh, at the White Sox stadium. That'll be for number eight, Chicago White Sox eight. It's for Lonnie. What? What was? Who was running the poll? They were giving away All Star Game tickets. It's Pete Alonso, eighty six out of ninety nine. That's John with Mets six. All right, second to last box. Oh, MLB was running it. All right. I was gonna say, if it was just some random, like, you know, Cubs blog that was running it or something like that, I would have been like, who cares what they think? But an official poll? I'll go with it. Hmm. Interesting. Both of those movies are pretty good. I guess uh, Major League is more of an, an adult movie, right? Field Dreams a little more family friendly, so perhaps that's why I got the edge at the end. Who was like the final four, Rex? Do you have that information handy? All 
All right, we got a Jacob DeGrom, 12 out of 99. That'll go to Lonnie and Mets, two. Zach Wheeler is making the start against the Dodgers tonight here in L.A. All right. Behind Raleigh Fingers is Jaren Duran Duran. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sun. 12 out of 199, Jonathan with the Red Sox. Got another Red Sox. Noma! 10 out of 199. Does studio work for the Dodgers now? I think he's still living in Manhattan Beach. Just a little bit north of us with wifey Mia Ham. Ooh, these are nice. There's Raleigh Finger, 77 out of 199. Solid gold grates, my, my nemesis, Raleigh Fingers. That goes to the A's, Jonathan with the Oakland A's. And there's Gene Segura, 21 out of 199. Stamp of approval relic. What does Raleigh Fingers autograph looks like? It looks like this. Although I've never seen him do it. There's Gene Segura, 21 out of 199. Phillies. Phillies one. That's for Lonnie. And Phillies one. The the numbers and letters. We got G, uh, VT. Zero one five one four five. Check that. No, that's right. VT zero one five one four five. All right. There's Jose Barrios and a Buster Posey triple relic. One forty two out of one ninety nine for my rivals, the Giants. San Francisco two. Lonnie. Yeah, I wish I would have known about it, Paul, that, that bracket, the movie, MLB movie bracket a little bit earlier. I would have tried to go after some all-star game tickets it's here in L.A. Bog saying Moneyball, personal favorite base. That's a good one, too. I really like that. There's Mason Jar Thompson, 149 out of 150. One forty nine out of one fifty, old Mason Jar Thompson, Richard with the Nationals. Mike Tower and I were talking about how come there aren't doesn't seem to be unique nicknames anymore. That would have been like a if he if Mason was was playing in like the nineteen forties, you know, in the nineteen thirties or something like that, they'd call him old Mason Jar Thompson. But I don't think they do that now. Because there'd be some old story where it's like, how, how did how did Mason become such a good pitcher? He would set up Mason jars, you know, and throw at him. That's how he that's how he got his accuracy. That'd be that'd be the story. Maybe a little embellished in, in the 1930s by some uh, intrepid reporter looking for a story. Let's go. A fast-talking reporter, newsman. Hey, I need a story, see? We'll call you old Mason Jar Thompson. Something for the fans. Call you old Mason Jar. All right. Harper, Chipper Jones, Nolan Arenado. A Chipper's a good nickname, I guess. Chip off the old block. There's Rafael Devers to 50. It's going to go to Jonathan. Well, 
Right, better than old Joe Kitten Thompson. You don't he neighborhood cats will have to watch out. All right, our last box, our last set of hits. Here's Alex Bregman, 23, 73 out of 199. Astros 3, that'll be for Kevin. Derek Jeter and Alexander Wells. 63 out of 150 for the Orioles. Lonnie got the Orioles straight up. Who had the best nickname ever? Rex likes Oil Can Boy. No, that was his given name, Rex. His parents named him Oil Can. True story. There's Mike Trout, 91 out of 199. Angels. Uh, Rob picked up the Angels straight up. Gets the Trout Dual Relic. Angels playing some good baseball. Behind Dale Murphy is another solid gold greats autograph. 60 out of 100, Nolan Arenado. And that's a number block team. St. Louis Zero for Kevin and St. Louis Zero. And we got another stamp of approval, Xander Bogarts, 194 out of 199. And that is VT009426. Just wanted to see where that came from, what he did that day. And the final one. The final one is a Shane Bieber autograph. The Biebs, 29 out of 175. And that is for the Guardians, Cleveland 9. It's a number block team. And that is for Lonnie. Cleveland, this is for you. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A nice break in the books. Should we do a quick little recap? Sure. These are really nice hits, worth another look. We got another case in the store, ladies and gentlemen, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. I, think they, I don't know, but they did something something different to this tribute this year, which I feel like really makes it pop. I think they maybe that those foil outlines really makes the set look really sharp. A lot of nice parallels, a lot of nice color. Here were the hits for the number block team. Number block teams. Oh, I gotta do that randomizer for the non-numbered cards. Let me do that really quick too after this recap. There's Andre Dawson, that was a nice hit. And of course, we had these two real nice ones here. The five out of five, Eddie Murray Memorial Stadium Relic and Autograph and the Derek Jeter Award Winners Autograph. That's really sharp too. There you go, gang. Now let's flip back over to the list. There's the main list right here. And let's go to the number block tab. Let's gather all these names. New dice, new list. Now name on top after I randomize it five times. Name on top after five. We'll get the non-numbered base cards for those 15 teams we were talking about. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, Lonnie had the odds with him. Lonnie, you're gonna get a bunch of extra base cards going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next tribute break. Bye-bye.